so here is the 28th question which says that the perpendicular bisector of a line segment a minus 8 comma 0 and b 8 comma 0 passes through the point through a point 0 comma k the value of k is so first let's plot hame koi line segment di hui hai jo ki minus 8 comma 0 and 8 comma 0 se pass kar rahi hai jo ki unko join karke bani hai so let's let's uh, plot these points on the coordinate axis this is origin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 this is y axis and this is x axis so let's plot these two points a minus 8 comma 0 minus 8 comma 0 is here so this is a minus 8 comma 0 and let's plot the point b 8 comma 0 b 8 comma 0 this is the point okay and this is minus 8 comma 0 so here we have we are given the coordinate axis we have two points bane hai ya line segment jo hai ye kya ho rahi hai this is per, koi perpendicular bisector hai is line segment ka koi perpendicular bisector hai wo is wo pass kar raha hai kisi point se 0 comma k point se pass kar raha hai so pehle agar hame perpendicular bisector nikalna hai to hame pehle nikalna padega wo bisect kis point se kar raha hai to usko nikalne ke liye we will find the coordinates of midpoint of a line segment joining in dono points ka midpoint kya hoga kyunki this is a bisector ek koi line hai jo ki perpendicular hai aur bisector bhi hai bisect bhi kar rahi hai is line segment ko jo ki in do points se milke bana hai uske liye hame midpoint formula use karte hue uske coordinates nikalne padenge uske midpoints ke coordinate so minus 8 plus 8 that is x1 plus x2 upon 2 or y1 plus y2 upon 2. So minus 8 plus 8 upon 2 and 0 plus 0 upon 2 that is minus 8 so 8 cancel. So 0 upon 2 is 0 and 0 plus 0 upon 2 is 0. So we have found the point the coordinates of that point is O 0 comma 0. So ye jo line hai wo origin se pass kar rahi hai. So of course, वो line क्या होगी? हमारी y axis ही होगी. तो हमने इसको o ले लिया, zero comma zero. तो अब हमें बोला है कि ये जो line है, वो किसी zero comma k point से भी pass कर रही है. तो कुछ भी हो सकता है zero comma k यहाँ पे अगर है हमारा, so it can be any real number, है ना? हो सकता है one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, any real number. So it can take the value of any real number hence thus the value of k will be any real number as the origin is the midpoint of a b okay so here we have real number any real number is the c part hence c is the correct option thank you